Oh, I, I, explain the picnic basket. Okay, the picnic basket is the suburban mom's briefcase. You can put anything from a casserole dish to your laptop to your business card to Advil and, and, and uh, Tylenol. Anything that you need goes in this picnic basket. Casserole basket. How many beers could you stick in You can there? do beers. You can do, How many beers? Can do How many beers on tailgating there? can you stick in here? Which will definitely keep it's the, insulated, so it would keep the ice. Th yeah. That's the whole point. Keep the ice. And, and and it, yeah, and you could put the dog in here. And you put the dog in here, and you could ratchet this thing down. And it's and its little head could be poking up, you know, like after kind of choking to death. And then do you get to put you, put it on your bike and ride through, and you can have like the Wicked Witch of the West theme song as you're riding? Because you then that kind of go with that whole thing. You got the red shoes on. Got the red shoes. Well, you got to have the monogram. We're in the South. Southern women have to have their initial on everything. So, to buy Scotty at? Uh, anywhere. You're they're not everywhere. selling these? No, they're well, come on. Oh, no, I'm sitting here going, man, I should get on the trail. Like one of those segments on TV where they, like, you know, call now. You need the sham, uh, sham yeah. wow guy. The sham, sham wow. With, with this little yeah. microphone. And if you call now, sham you'll get two. But I was sitting there. I walked in. We had been flying all day, mm -hmm. you know, and I had a hat on. Camera hats. And I had, you know, and we're not military, so I didn't know We this. didn't know. Exactly. Thank you. And I walked in, and uh, this female sergeant comes up, and she goes, Boy, you know better. And I was like, uh, I know better about what? And she goes, you better get that cover off your head. And I was like, I didn't know. You know? So now I just go in to try my to what? make a man. You yeah, mean yeah, my yeah. Now, you my if I was able to go back now. I didn't even cover on. What are you talking no about? No kidding. Yeah, yeah. They, get, they, they get a little, they're, I understand why. Because it's all about the rules. Right. It's all about making everything rules. right. Yeah. But, you know, but it's like, ah, come on. Yeah, there's things you can. Facts, you know, here was the problem. That's why Tom said, "It's fine. You could have just come up and whispered, hey, you know, you can't wear a tank top in there.'" Put a jacket but he on did it shirt. in front of literally the entire group. I'm like, seriously, I was the only female in the group. You really did not help. And well, and how hot was, was it? It was it was 108, yeah, 110 degrees outside. Yeah. See, I, we had the same problem. I got, I almost, I almost went to the hospital last year. It was in September, and they stood us outside. And I had to stand there in long sleeves uh -huh. because you can't fly. And you, you have to yeah. have long sleeves, you have to have long touch shoes, long pants on. So it's like 117. I just got over, you know, come up from Atlanta or from Georgia. So it, it was warm, but it wasn't that warm. And it's, right. and it's a dry heat. And we're standing there with it's all of our gear. We're standing there with all of our gear. And um, we get there, and I got dehydrated. And I'm on stage <clears throat> playing. And I had been, I was sweating like crazy. And all of a sudden, I got cold. Uh -huh. I was like, this is not good. <laughs> this is really not good. <laughs> and it started, started this motion, you know? And as soon as we were done, I walked back in the back, and I had chill bumps. It was going, 100 it's George Jones! <laughs> yeah, it's like 117 <laughs> degrees, and I've got chill bumps. Okay. And uh, it was crazy. I could, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I, drank, I drank two bottles of Gatorade, two of those bottles of water with the salt in it. Yeah. And it was like 8 o'clock that night and didn't go to the bathroom until the next day. <laughs> it's, you know what, out of, out of everything that we've ever done throughout my entire career, I think I got more out of those events than, than anything else. I mean, I was I was sitting there. I I, I was in um, I was in Baghdad. We just finished up a show in the Green Zone. This guy walks up to me and he goes, "You're from Blue Ridge, Georgia, aren't you?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes, "Your mom was my teacher." Wow. So you know, yeah. he and I went and had dinner that night. Yeah. 